this video, I'm going to show you how to sort an array of classes using a property on the class. We'll start by creating a new class. And I'll just call this customer. It'll be a pretty simple class. I'm going to have a couple properties as I just want to show you how to sort it. So we'll add a property for first name. And I'll also add a property for last name. Now I can put some code here to just test this out. So I'm going to put a button on here. And this button is just going to have some code to initialize an array of, of these classes uh, with some data. And then sort them. So I'll create a variable for the customer. And then I'll create some new instances here. And I noticed that I accidentally set the properties to private, which means I can't set anything for them. So I'm going to switch them back to public here. And now I can create the customer and set some uh, values for first name and last name. And I'm actually going to want to save these in an array, so I need an array. I'll create that as a property. Just call it customers. And now I can append our instance here to the array. And then I'll create another customer. Just have two here to show the sorting. And this one here, I'll have a name that would come that should come before the first customer if they were sorted so that we can see the sorting works. And now I will just display uh, the last name for these two customers so we can see the order. So we'll, we'll pull back the array in its order and display the names. Just the last name really is all that matters since that's what we're going to sort on. And now when I run the project, you should see the uh, them come up in the name. So we got Smith and then Roberts. It's not the sorted order, that's just the order. We added them to the array. So let's sort them. So in order to do this, we're going to create a special method that we will pass into the sort method. And this method will be responsible for comparing the last names so that the array itself gets sorted. And we're going to pass in, well, because of the way this is defined, it has to have two parameters that are of the type of the array. So in this case, customer. So we have C1 and C2. And this method is going to return an integer that will indicate which values are greater than, less than, or equal. So here you can see if customer 1's last name is greater than customer 2's last name, we'll return 1. If it's less than customer 2's last name, we return minus 1. And if they're the same, we return zero. And now we can actually call the sort method that we've written. So we just call sort, and then we pass in the method by using the address of command, and then the method name. And now when we run the project, we should see the, na the two names come up in sorted order. So here we have Roberts first and then Smith. And that's how you can easily sort your own classes.